everybody. It's George. Back at it. So, everybody's been asking me about um, firmware and how to set it up, so I'm just going to do it real quick. This is uh, my WordPress page. So, just George Robles Jr. Dot WordPress dot com. You'll scroll through this, it's a little whatever. Now, some links for my YouTube channel, Google Plus. Now, if you want the firmware, here are the links. Now, if you happen to be trying to download it, maybe I'm in the process of changing it and if it doesn't work. So, I do try to update it. Now, here's Aldrino. You want to click on this link, download it, and then install it. Do not update it when you open the program. When you open that program, and depending on the printer that you have, and I'll have some listed here, you click on that link, download it, unzip the file, then you go to your Arduino program and open it with Arduino. And the way you do that is you click on your tab up here, File. Ah. Open. And then the file that you have it saved under, in my case, which was my download test, um, my setup right up here. Double click that, you'll open up a certain amount of files. The one that you're looking for is this one right here, which ends in INO file, GT2560 INO file. You double click on that, and your Arduino should open up to another window with that sketch. Give it a sec. Actually, it's not going to open up because I already have it open. So I'll open up another one as an example. The Sanguina Lulu. I know file again. There we go. I'll maximize the tab. If you ever make configuration H right here, you can scroll down right here where it says define custom mental name. You can change it. Characters. It'll take you somewhere sometimes if it's too long, and usually where you see that line plus one, you can go up to plus. 11 I think or 19 I can't remember which number it was I can put my store address on there almost except for the M so anything else that you would change for example thermosistor settings they're right there scroll down a little more uh, PID bed control which you may not want to use if you have ramps I'll be doing a software for that one or firmware for that one excuse me um, if you need to invert your direction of travels uh, right here but in most cases this will work just fine um, if you're gonna enable auto leveling you would adjust it here but I'll just do a another update for that and attach that firmware below this tab to make it simple for some people. For those of you that know how to tinker, I'm not going to explain too much. Um, depending on your stepper drivers, right here, under default access steps per unit, these are the numbers that you're going to change. Also, when you tune your extruder, right here, this 95, if you tell your stepper motor to move 100 millimeters on your extruder and it moves 95 then you need to add five steps to that and, and it should be dead on after that so 
if you're having the purple drivers. In my case, I do, and I had to confirm, uh, convert them. Well, I do anyways for the upgrade kits that I'm making. Which are these. So, it's a left-handed extruder. I'm going to include a second uh, longer barrel. And um, you're going to have the purple drivers on here, so you get one thirty-second of a step, two jumpers. And this is if you want to convert your Sanguina Lulu uh, or Prusa Pro B into a Pro C. And this will extrude five materials, and you'll end up with an extra barrel. For those of you who just have the Prusa and you have the main connections on a ramp, this will work with it. And um, for those of you, the with the power connection already that's the type that's on there so this is one type of kit I'm doing another one with ramps 1.4 more on that later back to the firmware so in those packages I had to double the steps so for example 95 became 190 uh, 2560 became uh, 5120 78 74 I can't remember I can't do no more math. My brain's already fried. So, additional features. Uh, if you want to program your PLA constants or your ABS constants in here, you can add them in here. Uh, you can also add some more if you know which, how to uh, um, alter a sketch. You can add some more uh, definitions, for example, like nylon and. Uh, wood PLA or bronze fill. The one that I have defined right now is a LCD 2004, what they call LCD 2004. And for those of you with the ramps, I'll be doing some adjustments down here with the servos. Uh, right here, these numbers, you're going to be adjusting for the position, the number of servos, and then you're going to do some adjustments up in the auto leveling. So, more on that later. Now, when you're ready to upload, depending on the board you have, you want to select your board, as you can see all the options on there. So if you have Sanguina Lulu, you're going to select 16 megahertz. You're then going to choose your serial port, which in my case was COM5. I go to the programmer, make sure it's Audrina as ISP. I can't see the verify button. Then you just click verify. Verify the sketch always before you upload, just to make sure there's no problems. Of course, when you upload it, it'll verify first and show you any problems there. And once it's done compiling, there we go. You'll see the compiling sketch. You'll see a progress bar on the side. Once that's complete, you'll see a binary number count at the bottom. And it'll say upload complete if you were if you had clicked on the upload tab. I always just like to verify before I verify an upload. So you'll see that number and then it'll say uh, uploading and then it'll upload to your board. Then you're all set. Have a good one. Peace.